How many people have seen the movie? How many? Welcome everybody to another travel type video, nomadic travel type video. Today coming to you from one of my frequent stops. I come here at least three to four times a year, south of the border here in Carolina, the border of South Carolina and North Carolina. It's a great little stop if you just need to stretch your legs and during the summertime hit their version of Disney, which consists of a putt-putt golf course and a merry-go-round. Actually, they have a little bit more than that. It's just during this time of year and last year, probably the last 20 months, a lot of this stuff hasn't even been operating, which is okay. I'm not here to ride rides anyway. I'm here for one specific reason only. Well, two, I needed to stretch my legs and the dogs needed to go bathroom. Yeah, one of the reasons I'm here is for Pedro. Pedro needs to know I've been to town. And the best way to show that you've been to a town is to place stickers around it. So there's quite a few restaurants around here. None of them are very, very great. You would think a town that is themed after Mexico, south of the border, uh, would have some great Mexican food. They don't have it. They do have a restaurant here. It's a steakhouse, so it's a big sombrero, but it's a steakhouse. And to tell you the truth, it's really not worth going in there and wasting your money. But down here, there's a restaurant I have not eaten at yet. And there's a place to put your YouTube channel stickers, music bands, Whatever, whatever sticker you have, there is a wall down here and some signs and stuff like that that you can just stick your stickers on. So that's why I'm stopping today. Eat, stickers, stretch legs, and take the dogs to go potty. And what else are we here for? Oh, statues. And if you wanted statues, this place has you covered. I mean, seriously, this is a roadside attraction in itself. Just coming here to see all the crazy statues up and down the road. It's basically when you go to the, like uh, Stucky's or some of those gas stations that sell everything from Mexico, just aisles and aisles and aisles of stuff. That's all small, like small dinosaurs, small turtles, small bears, small wolves, small chicken statues. They just like blown them up so you could see them on the sides of the roads. I mean, I pretty much, I think I've seen this salt and pepper shaker before. Oh my God. It's, it's a, it's a Steph second, a truck shaker now. Actually the stores I was talking about, that, that store right there probably has very small versions of these guys. And I don't think this would be a salt and pepper shaker, but uh, I could see if it was on a table and you could lift its back off and I had a thing of butter, maybe. I don't know. You know, you go to your grandmother's house and she's got that knickknack shelf. Though these are a little bit too big for the knickknack shelf. Also, they do have a sombrero tower. I don't think it's operating right now due to the current world situation. But if you wanted to walk up there and not take the elevator, I think you could walk all the stairs all the way up. Not me though, I'm too lazy. I'm, I'm telling you, there's probably 500 stairs there. That, that's just, that's insane. That thing right there is iconic. You see that on a lot of postcards. That is one iconic sign. That is one iconic ombre. And these guys just look on. They look so impressed. They look impressed. And why not? This guy here looks a little bit angry. They want, he wants to be the one that is impressing these guys. Not, uh, not him, he's jealous. This, this guy here's a, he's jealous. That's a jealous face. This is just crazy. It's like a tornado hit a putt-putt golf course and all the statues of the putt-putt golf course just blew everywhere. Even over there at the Myrtle Beach gift shop, Pedro's Myrtle Beach, we're not at Myrtle Beach, but uh, quite a bit of sea life statues. 
including a fairly large, fairly large conch shell looks like. And I have been in there. They do have a quite large, impressive, great white shark statue, very much like what's around here, but painted and stuff to look more realistic than a lot of the stuff. I mean, is this really realistic? A 15 foot hot dog. Yeah, it's not that realistic. Cute, but not that realistic. Okay, this should be fun. There's no saddle on it, but uh, let's see if she can do it. She's gonna fall right off that hot dog. Ooh, I don't know if I can. You gotta, you gotta get up there. Come on, you gotta ride the, gotta ride the wiener. It's really, really. Is it really big? It's really wide. That's what your mom said. Oh. <laughs> oh. The mom jokes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Steph stuck in a truck riding the wiener. Dog. Giddy up, giddy up. So, yeah. The food in this town is god awful. Like I've said. But you're not paying for the food, you're paying for the ambiance. And there's no better ambiance than a giant hamburger directly above the doorway. We are going to eat at Pedro's South of the Borders Hot Tamale. Supposedly open 24 hours. Are they open? Probably not. We'll find out. Oh, the ambiance. I mean, I feel just like I'm in Tijuana. Not really. I might be pleasantly surprised with the food here. I don't know. I, I'm having a feeling. It's like an updated version of Taco Bell, though I didn't get Mexican food. Steph stuck in a truck did. I'm going to try their chili cheese dogs. I'm just craving cheese right now, or chili, because it's freezing cold outside. It's like 67 degrees, hence the long sleeves. Okay, this is a pleasant surprise. Those chili dogs actually look pretty good. I would have preferred grated cheddar cheese, but that's okay. And the taco shell looks way better than they do across the street and the tamale well it's a tamale i am realizing the one good thing about liquid cheese compared to grated you, you, you can dip your french fries in it that's a true story mm. okay now we're getting somewhere okay so let's see if we can pick this dog up it uh Looks different than most chili cheese dogs. They did put must mustard, liquid cheese, and uh, chili. And uh, that liquid cheese, if you can see, does seem to get everywhere. If you want to go to restaurants like this, you should be allowed to take your shirt off where it says no shoes, no shirts, no service, unless you're eating a chili dog. That was vinegary. Hmm. Yeah, she's right. It's very cafeteria. It's like you just open a can, get some chili, pour it on the dog, liquid cheese, open the can, put it on the dog. But for some reason, it works. I've had worse in high school and elementary school. It's not bad. Mexican food is done. My Mexican, what, what was it called? Oh, uh, uh, corn dog. It's done. Now as we're exiting out, time to hit the sticker wall over here. That uh, It's a giant sticker spark plug. And uh, I know lots of people that put their stickers on here. I have yet to do it, but I am rectifying that immediately, as uh, another YouTuber would say. Tommy Travels. Ooh, look at that one. The Grateful Dead been here. With every sticker on this magnificent piece of art, I decided to put mine right next to, well, I mean, Nomadic Hippie, Grateful Dead, right? Kind of goes together. All right, so eventful day started, but it is also the end of my video because got a lot of miles to put on today. I got to end up, we're going... Where are we going? I think we're going to Pennsylvania, then Ohio. So it's it's going to be a, quite a trip and not too much time to stop and do things. 
this was just a night like a nice little stop and break and i actually wanted to put one of my new stickers on the spark plug back there so if you're driving by south of the border whip in here and uh stop at the giant spark plug take a picture see if you could find the hippie sticker or the stuff stuck in a truck sticker and uh, take a picture tag it on instagram or facebook or somewhere i don't know where you tag stuff but i because i rarely do that i don't i don't know how to tag things i'm so terrible terrible at social media i should have waited to put a sticker on the side of this machine here nothing better than decorating a soda machine with your channel sticker until the next time guys from south of the border i love you all peace out everybody real fast you know you're married or best friends with a truck driver or nomad when on christmas morning this is what you get under the tree